Hi friends, in today's session, we are going to learn about the adjustment to final accounts in relation to provision for bad and doubtful debts. In our previous videos, we have already learned 7 adjustments. If you have not watched those videos, I am giving the links of the videos in the description below. Please do watch the same. You can also click the card above to have a look into the entire playlist relating to adjustments in final accounts. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do subscribe and press the bell icon to get instant notifications. Please do share this to your friends to whom this may be useful. First, let us learn the meaning of the term provision for bad and doubtful debts and then get into the accounting part of it. So we need to know the meaning of the term provision. Provision is an amount set aside to cover number 1 a probable future expense and number 2 a reduction in the value of an asset provisions are created by debiting the profit and loss account so as we saw provision is an amount set aside to cover a probable future expense or a reduction in the value of an asset provision for warranties is an example of provision relating to a probable future expense and depreciation is an example of provision relating to a reduction in the value of an asset. Now let us come to our topic provision for bad and doubtful debts. It means an amount set aside to cover the debtors which may not be realized in future. Let me repeat. It means an amount set aside to cover the debtors which may not be realized in future. It cannot be accurately accounted. So, we estimate the amount based on our past experiences. This estimate would be mostly as a percentage of the debtors outstanding at the end of the year. We will be having an illustration to clearly understand all these concepts. Before that, let us learn the journal entry for recording provision for bad and doubtful debts. The journal entry is Profit and Loss Account Debit to Provision for doubtful debts provision for doubtful debts account so we will be debiting the profit and loss account and we will be creating a liability provision for doubtful debts account this provision for doubtful debts account will be shown as a deduction from the debtors in the asset side of the balance sheet now let us have an illustration to understand this adjustment more clearly let us read the additional information Create a provision for bad and doubtful debts at 5% of book debts. So as I said earlier, the estimate for provision for doubtful debts would be mostly as a percentage of debtors outstanding at the end of the year. In our case, it is 5%. Therefore, the provision for doubtful debts is equal to here you can see the debtors amount to rupees 170000 so 170000 into 5 percentage that is 5 by 100 which amounts to rupees 8500 therefore the journal entry is profit and loss account debit rupees 8500 to provision for doubtful debts account rupees 8500 now let us look into the impact of the same in profit and loss account and the balance sheet. First let us have a look into the profit and loss account. Here you can see the provision for doubtful debts account is debited to the profit and loss account. As a result the net profit gets reduced by Rs 8500. Now let us see the impact of the same in the balance sheet. As I said earlier in the explanation provision for doubtful debts will be shown as a deduction from the debtors in the asset side. So, Rs 8500 is reduced from the debtors of Rs 170,000. Therefore, now the debtors become Rs 161,500. In the liabilities side also, Rs 8500 gets reduced as a result of a decrease in net profit. Therefore, the balance sheet gets tallied. Once again, the adjusting entry for provision for doubtful debts is profit and loss account debit to provision for doubtful debts account. This provision for doubtful debts of Rs 8500 created in this year will be carried forward to the next year and the bad debts arising during the next year will be adjusted against this provision only. 
The provision for doubtful debts brought forward from the previous year is called the opening provision or old provision. The provision created for doubtful debts required at the end of the current year is called the new provision. While calculating the new provision, the balance of the old provision as given in the trial balance should also be taken into account. To understand how bad debts and provision for bad and doubtful debts are accounted, let us have a separate example. Please don't consider this as a continuation to our illustration. This is a separate illustration to just understand the accounting for bad debts and provision for bad debts. For the year ending 31st March 2020, let us consider the following details as the extract of trial balance. Sundry debtors rupees one lakh seventy five thousand. Bad debts rupees ten thousand. Provision for doubtful debts rupees twenty thousand. The additional information is write off further bad debts rupees five thousand and create a provision for doubtful debts at five percentage on debtors. This information is as on 31st March 2020. This provision rupees 20,000 represents the opening provision or the old provision which is carry forward to the current year from the previous year that is 31st March 2019. Now let us pass journal entries for the details provided in the additional information. If you have missed out the previous video on bad debts, please do watch the same to get a clear understanding of the journal entries which we are now going to pass. I am giving the link of the video in the card above. First, let us pass the journal entry to record the further bad debts of rupees 5000. The journal entry is bad debts account debit 5000 to sundry debtors account rupees 5000. As we saw in the explanation, whenever there exists a provision for doubtful debts, we should adjust the bad debts arising during the year with the provision created only. Therefore, this bad debts of rupees 10,000 and this bad debts of rupees 5000 should be adjusted with provision for doubtful debts. So the entry that needs to be passed for adjusting these bad debts is provision for doubtful debts account debit rupees 15000. This 15000 came as a result of 10000 plus 5000. 2. Bad debts account rupees 15000. When we created provision for doubtful debts, it had a credit balance of rupees 20000. From that, we are reducing it by debiting it to the extent of rupees 15,000. Now, in the additional information, we are also given that create a provision for doubtful debts at 5% on debtors. Before passing the entry for this adjustment, we should know how much of provision needs to be created for the current year. Let me tell you how to compute the same. For that, let us draw a T accounts of provision for doubtful debts account. So let me draw here. This is a rough T account for our reference. On 1st April 2019, we will be bringing the closing balance of the previous year to the current year. Therefore, by balance brought down, the amount is rupees 20,000. Now, in the current year, we have adjusted bad debts amounting to rupees 15,000 with provision for doubtful debts account. So, two bad debts, 15,000. Now, we are asked to create a provision for doubtful debts at 5% on debtors. Therefore, provision for doubtful debts is equal to, in our trial balance, we have 1,75,000 rupees debtors. So, that 1,75,000 minus the further bad debts is rupees 5000 so we should deduct that in this closing data we should calculate 5 percentage so it is rupees 170000 into 5 percentage which amounts to rupees 8500 so as on 31st march 2020 the closing balance of provision for doubtful debt should be rupees 8500 2 balance carried down rupees 8500 so we should balance this account the debit side has the highest total rupees 23500 write the same in the credit side also 23500 so the balancing figure is rupees 3500 therefore the new provision which is created is rupees 3500 which needs to be debited to the profit and loss account
so as on 31st march 2020 by profit and loss account so let me explain this once again we have opening provision for rupees 20000 out of which we utilized rupees 15000 and we should have a closing provision of rupees 8500 so the new provision which needs to be created is for rupees 3500 which needs to be debited to the profit and loss account therefore the third entry is profit and loss account we are debiting it by 3500 to provision for doubtful debts account 3500 as a result we have accounted for the additional information now let us see the impact of the same in profit and loss account and balance sheet as i previously explained how to calculate this 3500 by using t accounts there is also an another form like this here you can see bad debts of rupees 10000 which we have took from here and further bad debts we are adding rupees 5000 and the new provision we have calculated here rupees 8500 all the three we will be adding and we will be adjusting the old provision that is rupees 20000 therefore the additional amount 3500 is the amount which needs to be debited to the current year pnl and in the balance sheet you can see rupees 175000 was the original debt as in the trial balance there we are reducing the further bad debts of rupees 5000 which amounts to 170000 and from that we should reduce the provision for doubtful debts at 5% of 170000 that is rupees 8500 therefore we get rupees 161500 I hope that you understood the concept for provision for bad and doubtful debts. If you are facing difficulty in passing journal entry with respect to any transaction, please do leave it as a comment below. Thanks for watching this video. Please do subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon for instant notifications. Let's make accounting simple.